so in this video I'm using some acrylic paints and you can see these brushes pointed brush another pointing brush flat brush and this is another flat brush different types of leaves these are from some other plant I just like the shape I don't know the names some these are some flowering plants these are the leaves these are erica palms leaf money plant leaf so let's get started so here I'm adding some water to the leaf then I add some paint which is of hot pink color and then I'll just put the leaf on the paper so I get a sort of a print on the sheet as you can see I am just putting it on and then pressing the leaves because these leaves aren't straight I have to press it down so now I'm adding water to the leaves so that I can get rid of the paint I had now I'm adding blue color to the leaf and then I'll put it on the sheet as I did it before After putting blue on, I thought I should add a bit more color. So eventually I thought that I should add some yellow. So the yellow came into a bit greenish yellow. So I put a greenish yellow on the sheet which made it a bit darker. So now I've taken a, another sheet. I've already added some green color to the stem of money plant. As you can see, I am adding a red color to the leaves and then pressing it down to the area I want the leaf to be printed. After getting the print of the leaf, I... Uh, Take down the leaf so that it doesn't make any mess around. So in this one you can see it clearly after having a print of the leaf I just take the leaf out of the stamp. So I thought that the color of the stamp is a quite lighter, so I added some more color and then added it to the paper. So here I'm having the leaves I used before to print the first layers and now I'm adding the same leaf on the same paper. So I'm not using any other leaves or adding any color to them, just printing that I have. So in this sheet, I want to color around the leaf and make the area of the leaf not colored, just whitish. So I'm just using water to stick the leaf so the colors I'm using does not get inside the area I don't want to be painted. On this sheet, I'm using wet on wet effect so the color merges into them. And I'm using red, blue, orange, black. You can use any color you want.
I don't always use a cloth to dry up the paper, but this time I was quite wet. I didn't want it, the paint to get inside the leaves, so I just took a cloth and just scrubbed it on it, so the wa excess water comes into the paper. So this method is gonna be quite messy. Firstly, I'm adding a lot, a lot of water on the sheet, making it very wet. Then you have to take a book or something you would like to stand your paper on, put it against the wall, and just starting adding some color to it. So I'm taking some color, dipping it into water, and then putting it on the paper, so it giving it a dripping effect. Same thing goes for hair as well. You can use any colors you want, you would like to add. I am using pink, blue, orange and red, yellow as well. Because I like multicolor paper. You can use different types of color, one type of color as you want, as you wish. Earlier, I was putting on light shades of the colors, but now I'm putting darker shades, so I get the shade I want. So this designer sheet was the most easiest and beautiful sheet I've made. Because it took me just like 10 minutes or less. Because I recorded the video on 0 0.2 in time lapse. And I have recorded it for like 46 seconds. You can imagine how quick it was and beautiful as well. You can use these sheets for anything you want, calligraphy, writing, homework, school works, anything, absolutely. These are the works I done. This was my Sanskrit project I use this sheet for. As you can see on the picture, absolutely beautiful. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get the notification every time I post. Make sure to comment down below. If you want to send me your offer, you can send me at my email ID. I also sell this 5 pair of sheets for rupees 50. So if you want to get those, you can contact me from my email ID. Thank you.